welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to introduce our Magical Iris Tropical Leaves add-on dye. This dye is so beautiful and so much fun and it's a perfect match for our interactive Magic Iris dye. So it works like our other add-ons where you can add it to decorate the opening and have a magical surprise in the center. The other really great thing about this dye is that it's perfect to be used on its own as well and we're going to show you both ways in this video. Here's a look at all of the dyes included in the set. You can see you have that beautiful tropical leaf circular frame, some hibiscus flowers, and some individual leaves. Here's a look at this beautiful circular frame on our Magic Iris add-on. You can see how gorgeous that is. It really just frames that center opening. Inside that opening, you could have a sentiment in there or you could have a cute little scene as well. And I love doing both. And the die also cuts that circle for the center, which makes it nice and easy to decorate that Magic Iris opening or just to hide some decorations in the middle if you don't use the Magic Iris. This is our Magic Messages stamp set, which is such a great match for this Tropical Leaves add-on. Those small individual leaves are great for tucking behind the frame to create even more foliage. They're also great for layering behind the flowers. You'll see that we have these little individual flowers that can cover up the flower center in the hibiscus or the little tiny flowers can be used on its own. And then here's a look at the hibiscus with one of those cute little leaves behind it. There's also a smaller size too. And I love these little leaves and hibiscus flowers for using with some of the other tropical leaf items that we have in this release too. So they're great for the iris, but they're also great for using using with those other products for some cute little tiny leaves and flowers. And then here is a look at these flowers in some contrasting colors. So you can see how you can tuck those leaves behind and then add those cute little flowers around. And it just makes it so special and different to be able to add these extra little flowers and extra leaves as such a fun touch. I mean, look how cute that is. It's just adorable. And then here is a look at what this looks like with an actual functioning magic iris. And you can see how beautiful it is when the iris opens up and you can have either a sentiment or a cute little scene or image inside. First, we're gonna create a card with this beautiful die without the magic iris, and then we're gonna create one with the magic iris. So I've gone ahead and die cut some craft cardstock with a stitched rectangle die, and I'm gonna take out my brand new Watercolor Wishes Rainbow Pack. I love this paper so much. And I'm gonna take out that green paper and die cut the magic iris tropical leaves add-on from it. And this is gonna look absolutely beautiful because it's gonna give us a really cool watercolored look on our magic iris. Look at that, oh, so pretty, so gorgeous. Next up, we're going to take out the new Toucan Do It stamp set, and there are two beautiful leaves in this set, and we're gonna create a background with it. So we're gonna stamp in some clear embossing ink all around this card base, and then we're gonna add white heat embossing powder and heat it up. And we're gonna be doing that with different styles of leaves. So here you'll see we've got our nice sticky embossing ink. We'll sprinkle on that white heat embossing powder and then heat them up to have nice, bright, shiny white leaves. Then we'll repeat the same thing with the other leaf in the set. So we're gonna stamp it in clear embossing ink, add white heat embossing powder, and heat them up, creating a cool random pattern. And I really love this look of white on craft. There are two stamp sets called Wild For You and Critters in the Jungle that are such a great mix and match for the new Toucan Do It stamp set. And Critters in the Jungle has these cute little leaves that look really nice with the leaves in Toucan Do It. So we're gonna stamp both the large leaf and the small leaf to help fill in the different pattern with the different leaf. And it's always fun to kind of look through your stash and see what kind of older stamp sets might work with a new favorite. So we're gonna stamp those out and we'll add our white heat embossing powder and heat those up. And this pattern is looking so beautiful already. Next, we're gonna add some splatters for some extra detail. And whenever you have a background that you're creating and you're like, hmm, it needs a little something, add splatters. It kind of always works. So right here, I have some Copic white paint, but any white acrylic paint would do. And I'm just gonna add some water to it and then tap on a small paintbrush to create tiny little white splatters. We're then gonna do the same thing with black ink. So this card is gonna have some really cool kind of subtle black details on it. And so that black ink is gonna help kind of bring it all in together for the background. So I'm gonna smear some black licorice ink on an acrylic block. We'll add a little bit of water and then just like the white paint, we're gonna pick that up with our paintbrush and then kind of tap on it and have those little black splatters show up all over the card. And you can see just how pretty that looks. That texture I think is just gorgeous. Now I had cut my Magic Iris Tropical Leaves add-on out of that Watercolor Wishes paper, which gives it a really cool gradient, but I wanted the center to be even darker just to kind of help stand out the cute little seam we're gonna create in the center of this circle. So I'm gonna take some Lucky Clover Distress Ink and just messily kind of ink the inside edges really quickly, really easy, and you're gonna see it's just gonna give it a little extra definition. And I really like doing this with the Watercolor Wishes Rainbow paper. It just adds a little extra something to add a little bit more ink to it. 
Now for the center of this cute little iris piece, we're going to be cutting some more watercolor wishes paper, but this time in this beautiful orange color, and we're just gonna cut the center circle out. Now we're gonna add a little more detail to the center circle with the new Tropical Leaves background stencil. Now normally this is a two-step stencil that you would layer, but this is a very, very small little circle. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of the stencil on the circle with some Spice Marmalade ink. And you'll see I'll do one edge of the circle and then I'll pick a couple of other leaves to help fill in the rest of the pattern. Another fun way to do this would have been to ink that whole orange piece and then I could have cut a bunch of circles out of it and made a bunch of these cards. But in this case, I had just cut the one circle so I thought I'll just separately ink it really quickly. It just took me a couple of minutes and it really adds a fun tropical spin to the card. I always like adding sentiments to the center of my Magic Iris add-ons, but in this case, I thought it'd be really fun to add some characters. So we're gonna take out the Toucan stamp set and we're gonna color, stamp, and die cut one of our cute little jaguars. And then, remember how we talked about Critters in the Jungle and Wild for You being a great mix and match for this? We're gonna take out the giraffe and the elephant from those sets too and mix and match these guys. Now, I don't know that these guys all live in the same area, but let's just pretend they're friends at the zoo or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna layer my giraffe on the leaves there and I like that because it looks like he's popping out from the circle and then we're going to add some tape runner to the back of this whole leaf piece and attach our jaguar and our elephant to that and you'll see I'm going to take the jaguar's face and kind of overlap it again on top of the leaves because I think it looks really fun that they're kind of popping out. The next step I'm gonna do is just trim off the excess of the jaguar and the elephant that were sticking out from beyond the circle. You don't necessarily need to do this part, but I think it looks kind of cute that they're all contained inside the circle, like they're taking a selfie or a photo together. And then now when we layer that pink and orange piece there with that beautiful tropical leaf pattern, it's very subtle, but I think it just adds something really cool and it brings the leaves from the background into this whole magic iris piece. Now here we have Oliver's Stitched ABCs and we're gonna die cut the world wild and we're gonna use that same orange paper from Watercolor Wishes Rainbow and I'm gonna cut it right along the edge of the color change so that it really looks like they're ink blended. We're also gonna die cut the letters from some black cardstock too and that's gonna bring in those black elements that we talked about earlier. So it's gonna be a very kind of faint shadow on the letters. We'll add some liquid glue on the back of the orange ones and then offset them slightly on the black licorice letters. And we'll do that with each of the letters. And that's gonna help bring out those splatters that we did on the card and then also the cute stamped images that have been stamped in black licorice ink too. To finish out the rest of the sentiment, we're gonna go into the Wild For You stamp set and there's the words for you. <laughs> so we're gonna stamp those out in black licorice ink too on some white cardstock. And I'm just gonna take my paper trimmer and trim those out. You could also use your scissors, but for some reason I can never really cut a straight line. So I always need my paper trimmer. So I'm gonna cut that out and add some tape runner to the back and add that to the base of the card. And then I'm gonna build up the rest of my sentiment from that white piece. So we'll start with the letter D and kind of work our way out. And I really like taking a sentiment that would normally be a stamp sentiment and picking one word and having it be die cut letters. It always looks so, so cute. Next, we'll add some foam squares to that whole scene that we created and we're gonna layer that onto the card and look how beautiful this is looking. Oh, I love it so much. Now we're gonna take some black licorice cardstock and we're gonna create a nice thin border all around the space. I think it's about a 16th of an inch or so. And you can see that it just makes the whole scene come to life. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I love how Tammy did that. I've created a card base out of some craft card stock. We're gonna create it at five and a half by four and a quarter, a nice top fold card. I always love a top fold card, they look so pretty. And then we're gonna layer another piece of that paper from the Watercolor Wishes Rainbow. So that's that orange that we had put in the letters and in the background of our cute characters. We're also gonna put it on the background of the card and that's gonna help tie everything together. We can add some tape runner to the back of that whole panel that we've worked on and then layer that onto the card. And isn't that so pretty? I think that's such a fun card. I had so much fun making it. And I love that the Magic Iris Tropical Leaves add-on is a perfect way to highlight either images or sentiments. And I love that it can be used on its own or with the Magic Iris. For a finishing touch, we added a little toucan, cause why not, he's adorable. And this card is all done. I had so much fun making it and I think it's so much fun to use these Magic Iris dies with and without the Magic Iris. But next up, Shari is gonna show us how to create something really, really cool. So take it away, Shari. 
Today I'm going to be making a Magic Iris card using the new Magic Iris Tropical Leaves add-on. I'm going to be cutting this from that lighter green of the Watercolor Wishes. This is the original Watercolor Wishes paper collection. So I've cut that new Tropical Leaves Magic Iris add-on from that light green. And I'm also going to be cutting the sausage pieces or the inside pieces that move of the Magic Iris from that same green. That way when the iris is closed, it is green all in the center of this. I also kept the center piece that cut out of this circle and that's going to be where my sentiment goes. I'm going to pair those Watercolor Wishes greens with the new Watercolor Wishes rainbow paper and I'm going to use this orange colored one and I'm cutting my Magic Iris add-on panel from that orange. So you need to use this panel to cover up the iris mechanism behind the leaves. So I've just gone ahead and put some liquid glue dots on the back of my die cut. I'm going to go ahead and put that onto my panel. So you just wanna line up those circles in the center. This leaf add-on can go pretty much any direction. There's no right or wrong or top or bottom. It just depends on what you want the look to be. And it might depend on the other elements you're going to add to your card as well. Now to assemble the Magic Iris part of my card. I've just cut the three rings from the Magic Iris die from some white cardstock because it's going to get covered up and you're not going to see that. I've used that flux capacitor piece to cut my slots and my guides on one of those circles. And this is where I'm going to take those three green sausage pieces that I showed you earlier. I'm going to slide those tabs into the slots and then I'm just going to line up these pieces so that they line up with the inside and outside edges of the ring. Now I can add my glue dots to those little X's on the ends of each of those pieces. And you wanna make sure that you use the mini glue dot size. This is the correct size to make the iris work properly. I really like these because they're individual, they're easy to attach. So you just wanna put one dot on the end of each of the three sausage pieces that are going to move on the inside of the iris. And once I've got that dot on each of those little X's, I can make sure those sausage pieces are lined up with the inside and outside of the ring. So I'm just lining them up so they line up perfectly, tucked in there nicely. I'm just gonna hold it with my finger and then take one of the solid rings and layer it on top. So this is just going to stick to those three little glue dots. Now I can flip the whole thing over and you can see those little guide marks that that die created when it cut the slots. And I can just put some adhesive at those guide marks from the inside of the circle to the outside. This is where my stabilizer pieces are going to go. And again, I just cut three of these just from white cardstock because you're not going to see these at all. And you can line up that little curved end with the inside curve of the ring and line it up with the guide marks. Then I can flip my mechanism back over. And I like to put it with one of those stabilizers pointing straight down. And that gives me a guide to put my little handles. So I'm putting some adhesive runner and I also like to put a couple dots of liquid glue because once it dries, then it's really sturdy on this ring. You wanna line up that curved end with the inside curve of the ring and make sure that that handle is to the right of one of the stabilizers in such a way that it makes a little V where they touch at the outside edge of the ring. Then you can layer that third ring on top Add some adhesive to those stabilizer pieces, and then you're just going to gently hug those around and stick them to the top. They're not going to go all the way to the inside edge. You want to just make that connection easy. You don't want them too tight because you want this ring to be able to move. And then you can test it and make sure everything moves properly. So now that my magic iris 
interactive piece is complete. I can add the little decorative piece that goes on the tab. This is the one that comes with the Magic Iris add-on, so it has that straight edge to line up with the edge of the panel. And I'm just gonna use that circle that came out of the center of this die cut to cut this little tab that's gonna go on the end of my handle. I'm just gonna add this to that handle, lining up that curve with the outside curve of the ring. And then I'll just take my scissors and trim off that extra piece of white of the handle that's sticking out. Now because this little decorative piece is just made from pattern paper and it's not quite as thick as cardstock, I'm actually going to cut another one of these just from white cardstock and I'm just going to layer it on the back side. So I'm basically going to sandwich the handle between the pattern paper and a piece of white cardstock just to reinforce it and make it a little more sturdy so that that little piece that's hanging out that's just pattern paper doesn't get bent or torn. So this just makes it a little more sturdy. I'm using images from the Two Can Do It stamp set. I've already colored and cut them out using the coordinating dies, and I'm just going to go ahead and decorate my front panel. So I have the large branch at the bottom for that little jaguar to sit on, and I also have the small branch for that cute little lizard to sit on as well. You can see that I've got them overhanging the edges of this just a little bit. I think that is a really fun look. It's not going to overhang the card because this panel is smaller than the card. I've added my little toucan up there towards the top. And then I can add my little butterfly. But before I do that, I'm actually going to stamp the little trail that goes behind the butterfly. So I've got my Jaguar at the bottom. And then I'm going to grab my stamp set and I'm going to use the little loop-de-loo uh, flying trail stamp that comes in this set. I'm using the one that just has a loop, not the heart one. And I'm just going to stamp it right over those pattern papers. And then I can glue my butterfly down at the end of that trail. So for my sentiment, I'm using one of the magic messages. I really like this Hello Sunshine because I like the way it fills the circle very well. So that's the one I'm using for the inside of my magic iris. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this magic iris onto the back of this panel. I've just added adhesive to the front of that ring and then I'm using my grid mat and the edge of this panel to line up the edge of that pull tab, making sure it's all stuck down and it still works properly. To put it onto the card base, I'm going to add some foam squares and I'm making sure to not put any on that side where the pull tab is going to move so that it moves and it does foam doesn't get in the way. I've added some adhesive just to the stabilizers of the ring because I want to make sure that I don't put any adhesive where those little tabs need to move around. And then I've got a cream colored card base that I'm just going to mount all that to. So I've opened up that iris and now back to that sentiment that I stamped earlier. I'm just going to drop that into the opening. Again, this is the centerpiece that was cut out when I cut that tropical leaf circle. And then I'm using my tweezers just to make sure that the, the edges of this circle are pushed all the way down to that card base and they're not in the way of the mechanism that moves. And then here is that finished card. When you pull that open, you get that nice sentiment in the middle of all those beautiful tropical leaves. Thank you for making such a beautiful magic iris, Shari. I think it looks gorgeous and the Hello Sunshine sentiment is perfect with these fun Two Can Do It characters. Next up, we have some beautiful cards by the design team, and here Yanea got super clever. She cut off a bunch of the leaves of the Tropical Leaves backdrop to create an area for her Magic Iris Tropical Leaves add-on, and it looks so stunning, and I can't wait to create a card just like this. Here, Letitia created a beautiful background with the Tropical Leaves background stencil in pinks and reds, and then she layered those amazing leaves on the top. So beautiful and such a cute way to present a sentiment. And then this card by Lynette is absolutely stunning. I love her cool background and those beautiful pink hibiscus flowers all over. 
Audrey used the simple stripes dye to create a cool black and white pattern behind her amazing magic Irish tropical leaves add-on. Those pink flamingos are a perfect match for this dye. And then here is the card by Tammy that inspired me to make mine today. It is such a cute and fun card. I love it so much. Next up, we have a gorgeous card by Elena, and I love her pink tone-on-tone -tone leaf stencil background, and then the cute little toucan talking to the little lizard on the branch. Adorable. This card by Mindy is so stunning. I love the magic iris so much, and her ink blending is just beautiful. That sunset is gorgeous. Here, Kara shows us that this magic iris add-on is a great fit for the shutter card too. So here's the front of her card and it's framing her adorable leopard. And then as you open the card up, you get your cute sentiment on the inside and that beautiful tropical leaves all around that opening. So gorgeous and so much fun. And then we have this beautiful card by Megan where she created an adorable toucan with some of our tiny gift box characters. And I love that she cut the leaves out of some turquoise cardstock. It's a really fun look. So we can't wait to see what you guys do with this new die. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.